Greetings and hello, Chris here from WebRadar and today I have a really amazing tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how you can create dynamic multi menus in Brizzy. So first question, when do you need uh, multi menus? I have my um, demo from uh, the blocks from the block archives here and i made some changes so if we have a look into the categories now you see i have category one category two and each of them has five subcategories so what a lot of people now usually do they go into menus and start adding uh here the the subcategories uh let's jump into categories here you see i'm going to add all these five and i'm going to put them in here and that's what most people usually do so if we have a look here oh we have to put this one in the header one menu So, and there you have now all your subcategories. But especially, for example, on a mobile or stuff like that, um, you maybe don't want that because um, it looks strange or it is not very intuitive to um, handle the website. So a multi-menu setup is there the a very nice uh, opportunity to make something different. So let's delete all these subcategories again. Save. Let's make sure they are really gone. There we are. So this is now our main menu. We have category one and we have category two. And um, yeah, with that set up, let's start to create our multi menu setup. It might get a little bit tricky or confusing, so I'm going to work with different colors. Um, you don't need to copy uh, the color setting. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use background colors just for a better understanding. Okay, so we jump here into our home setting, home page, and start working on it. Um, since I'm working with the breezy menus right now, I'm turning off Bloxy and we use the Brizzy template. There we are. So currently we have no header. So let's add one, add new block, header. Let's use this basic one. Okay, and I want to have be my header on top of all things. Good, there we are. So here we have now our header. Let's add our main menu there and update. And let's have a look. There we are. So this now is our Brizzy header. Uh, let's add here a link back to the website, site URL, okay. And let's open this one in a private window. Uh, okay, um, I forgot. I'm just recording this one window, so we have to stay here. Okay, so let's update this one then. And there we have our link. Okay, so this is now our main um, menu with category one and category two. In WordPress, I now created submenus for this matter. So let's jump into here. You see, I have my main menu and sub one, select. There I have my categories one, two, three, four, and five for the subcategories. And same goes with sub two. Here you see I have 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and so on. Okay, so these are the three um, menus I'm going to use now. So here in, in Brizzy, everything is nice. Uh, we have our main menu. Now let's make this one a global one. 
and change the display conditions to pages all save so this um, header will now be shown only on pages so to make this one so we recognize it i'm going to make it green so the green uh, menu now will be shown on all our uh, pages so let's have a look let's for example create um, let's have a look in, into the sample page to edit and there we go you have the green header so it means this one is now our header only for the pages so what happens if we click on category one there you see we go to category one and since we haven't created anything for the category one right now um we get our bloxy page so let's do what we learned in the last tutorial we are going to create an archive page just for category one so brizzy templates add new i'm calling this one now category one it shall be an archive and i want to show it in category one add and in all my subcategories of category one so 1.1 <clears throat> two, three, four, and five. So these are the categories where I want to use this template for. So I'm going to publish this one and let's edit with Brizzy. As you can see, we have no green header because we said we only want the green header on pages. So let's create a new header here. And again, I'm picking the main menu. Let's make this one again, the side URL. And it looks good. Good. So this one now is a sticky header. So let's duplicate the whole thing. And the upper one, so that is our main header, but only for category one. So I'm going to make this one red now. Um, so the upper layer, I'm going to change from sticky to static and the lower layer, I delete this uh, image block and in the menu, I'm going to pick subcategory one and this header, I'm going to set to fixed and now update. <clears throat> okay, we, we should add uh, our archive. That might be helpful. So let's go here, for example, to three rows. Uh, three, okay. So let's update this one. And now you see we have a red. The red one is only the header you see in uh, the category pages. So we can go here and whoops, make this one global again. And in the display conditions, I'm now seeing here Brizzy templates, category one. That's good. So let's save this one. Go back. Oh, update would be nice. So let's stay on the page, update first. go back into templates and here let's create a new template we call this one category two uh, it will be an archive and i want to show it only in category two and all its subcategories uh, four and five we are done publish Okay, now back into category one. Up to our red header here, I'm going to change the display conditions 
and I also want to include it into Brizzy templates. Interesting. Uh, so let's make this one all then. It seems I can't click uh, a second Brizzy template here. It seems to be a bug. Uh, one thing I can report later. Hey there, future Chris here from the editing room. Uh, I just wanted to say that this was just a glitch in my cage. And as you can see on the screenshot, you definitely can add more categories uh, into the Brizzy template thingy here. And uh, if I had refreshed the page with Control F5, I would have seen that in this section in the tutorial. Um, so I just wanted to add this thing. This is no back. It was just my cage. And let's go on with the tutorial. Okay, so now our red header will only be shown inside our category pages. So let's update this one. And... <clears throat> Let's here jump into category two, edit with Brizzy. Um, we pick our global header, add a new block, and uh, no, wait, here, um, add a new block. So let's pick another header, put this header on top, uh, delete the image again, and here we are going to pick submenu 2. And again, we're going to from sticky to fixed and make sure this one is still a static. Okay, now add our archives. Change this to three again and update our page. So, <clears throat> what we are going to see right now, if we are updating our website, we get our basic page, and as you can see, it shows both headers. So that's not what we wanted. Ah, okay, because I have here pages on. That's not smart. So let's update again and refresh. There we go. Now we're here on a page and as you can see, we only have the green header. Now if I'm going to click on category one, so we only have to fix category one. So let's add a new block, global, the red one and put it on top of everything, update. And now I'm going to hit category one. There we are. Okay, so what happens now if I'm going to scroll down, as you can see, uh, the red header is going to move away, but the white header with the subcategories is going to stay. So that way <clears throat> you now have a very nice uh, easy to reach and easy to to see um, sub menu for your own categories where people can now just click and go directly to the subcategory without disturbing um, your main menu or adding a ton of, of sub menus and stuff like that. So maybe you keep this little trick in mind that you are able <clears throat> to work with different um, global headers in Brizzy. <clears throat> and that way um, you're able to show different categories, uh, different menus, and keep them always on top and change a little bit the design so it stays interesting for your uh, visitors. 
there only uh, there, there also is a very nice way how you can use this to create very independent websites or pages for your e-commerce store and for this i'm also having a small tutorial where i show you how you can use this technique on uh, product pages and stuff like that um, but this will only be shown in our member section. So if you're interested in uh, to see how you can use this technique in your shops, um, come to webradar.com and join our community. I hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit and you can create now more different uh, unique menu settings. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.